Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. Once again, sorry for the noise level in the background due to the uh, air conditioning. And uh, well, a lot of you have been asking me to do a little update on what's new, what has changed in Windows 11 since the leak. So, um, you know, uh, is there some of the big features, Android um, apps, stuff like that? Not yet. There's still that's still coming later uh, this year. Microsoft did say uh, later this year, so I don't expect that soon. So we've been having almost regular uh, weekly builds that come through cumulative updates, and um, so the majority of what is happening in here is mostly tweaks. So uh, what has changed? Really, not much. The spacing between different uh, icons, different uh, apps, stuff like that has changed uh, so that it could actually customize and, and change and be better between a touch device and a regular, you know, non-touch or mouse pad, mouse oriented laptop, desktop computer. Um, a lot of you have been asking me, well, where isn't there a, um, you know, uh, tablet mode in Windows 11 well it's because it's automatic in Windows 11 tablet mode enables itself when you remove the keyboard there's a lot of two-in-ones that exist out there that actually have detachable keyboards that is what makes a difference and once it detects the keyboards gone it suddenly changes to touch mode and icons space out a little more stuff like that for the rest of course, the same style start menu. They've added a little more um, beauty to it with uh, the transparencies, the different icons, and of course, the dark mode. All of that making the operating system still very beautiful, very usable, very interesting to go to. Um, there needs to be some tweaks, of course, but overall, um, that's where it is the beauty effect uh, is, is there settings uh you know they're still pretty much the same they haven't done a lot of tweaks in here there are a few things that are nice i mean things are laid out so that we see everything for some it seems to be kind of cumbersome there's too much stuff in here uh for others it's okay like that there's a few things that we can rant about. One is the default apps. Default apps is so complicated compared to Windows 10 that it's crazy. So when you search for an app for what it's gonna do, well, when you click an app and choose what its default is gonna be, you know, in Windows 10, you just say, okay, I want, you know, Edge or, can, you know, you'll download Google Chrome and say, I want Google Chrome to be the default. And it defaults to everything that that the browser can do. In Windows 11, it it actually you gotta tell it to default on everything you want it to default to, one by one. It's totally crazy. This is something that's unacceptable for me. I would guess uh, that's for sure. Of course, um, for the performance level, for those that are asking still. Performance is great on Windows uh, on Windows 10, uh, Windows 11. Sorry, um, fast, even almost faster than Windows 10. Basically, I do like uh, all of this. The contextual menus. This is an interesting part of what's happening with Windows 11. A lot of the contextual menus, which you have when you right-click, for example, are to the minimum of what is available. So what happens is that they're trying to get contextual menus for the different options that don't have, you know, a kilometer long of text to choose what you want to do and just focus on the main thing of what you would like to do. So that's why there's a lot of uh, menus, including the one in the taskbar, which had um, several options when you would right click the taskbar in, in Windows 10, for example. Uh, that taskbar actually had several options available. Here, they're just focusing on, well, taskbar settings. One of the reasons it's only that, it's because they do want to have minimized 
contextual menus. Let's hope they don't listen too much to what people want because those contextual menus are frankly nice that they are just with what's important, nothing more, because that's what we're gonna focus on. And of course, the options that are missing are still there. They're just, you just need to get them in a different way and how to customize this stuff. Um, a lot of you asking, will there be a way to go back to Windows 10 style menu? Nope, uh, unless you use third party apps. Uh, Stardock has announced that there will be a Windows 10 mode in their Stardock software that customizes the interface. So you'll be able to go to Windows 10 style in Windows 11. You know, I have a hard time with people with, with, with doing that. Um, I understand people want to do it because they feel more at home and they kind of find the options and do what they want easily when they're similar. Uh, one of the problems here is that it's, um, you know, you're going to a new operating system, might as well get used to the new style. I think that is so much better. Um, if you are to go to turn Windows 11 into Windows 10, I don't understand why you would just go to Windows 11 <coughs> for the start. Um, that, you know, stay in Windows 10. It's useless to go to Windows 11 if you're not if you're going to customize it back to Windows 10 style. Um, is there a switch, like I said, or a, a registry key? Because some of you have noticed that the leaked build had a registry key you could change and it would go to Windows 10. That d is not available anymore. Uh, Microsoft removed that. It's not customizable back to Windows 10 without third-party apps. And like I said, um, there's a lot of inconsistencies that are continuing. It's a mix of old interface, depending on where you go, and new stuff, depending on where you go. Each menus have been tweaked. So a lot of the information on some of the panels and the settings, for example, have been tweaked and are different. Um, you don't like the center um, start menu, you can actually have it go to the left. So in taskbar settings, you'll be able to simply say, look, I don't want this the way it is. So um, what are you going to do? Well, taskbar, you just say, well, I want it on the left side. It's going to go on the left side. And you can, of course, when you click the start menu, um, just you know, go into all apps. And this is going to give you apps. Uh, there's this huge space, unused space, which is almost if they can't, for some reason, remove that space. Uh, due to the fact that there's that recommended section that seems to kind of hang in there without having the option to recommend it. You know, this will look more like a standard, um, I would say a standard start menu from Windows 10. It's the closest that you can have, basically. So, um, you know, um, kind of interesting. We'll, uh, we'll see if they customize or change some of that stuff again. I personally like the fact that it's centered. Uh, like I said, it's beautiful. The effects are great. The transparencies are amazing. Uh, more options for the, the um, dark mode. Of course, the new styled file explorer is something also to check out uh, with the new menus and the new way to do things. So if you, um, you know, right click on an option. So you go here, you wanna right click on something um, new contextual menu that has icons at the top with the trash can and all stuff like that. Once again, very minimal uh, options in the contextual menus when you right click on a file or on something. They're trying to keep that as small as possible. Uh, new taskbar um, view and, and buttons at the top rather than having the ribbon like in Windows 10. So, you know, overall, there hasn't been that much change since the first build but there are a few things coming of course the microsoft store is revamped there's a lot of the apps have been revamped in some way um what will be mostly the big things is especially the um, amazon android store uh for apps that will show up in the microsoft store at some point things like that one of the things that it's showing, because a lot of you are saying, well, no, this thing is far from being finished. 
it isn't far from being finished. It's very close to being finished. What we will see in the end will not be much different than what we see here. Uh, don't expect big changes. People that say, oh, they're going to change all of that. They're not. We are only a couple of months away from release. There's no time to make major changes. They're tweaking. They're listening to what people are saying. Um, we'll see what's going to happen, but don't expect major changes uh, on the interface itself from now to release. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.